latch is good. The Winchester Super X in the 100 round box, the Remington Golden Bullet in the 100 round box, and the CCI Mini Mag are the three best 22 long rifle ammunition you can get. Agree. For conventional, yeah. Super Extra is starting to look pretty good. It is. You know, uh, Auto Match is cheap. You know, Walmart twenty one ninety six, but reliable. But but reliable, and you and you get there. It shoots in everything I've got. You know, and it's three hundred rounds for twenty one dollars now. It's yeah. not bad. All right, what are we doing here? Let's make a video. Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over here at Perkins Gun Range. It's already on. This thing turns itself on. Let's just roll with it. For my next installment on, hey, I got this old used gun. The old used gun today I've got is a gun that I've reviewed before. We're going to take a little bit better look at it and see how it actually looks, what it looks like. And that is the Marlin Model 60. The probably the third best selling gun in America. Now this gun's out of production. They, the Model 60 went out of production about two years ago when Marlin went through its problem. Uh, this particular one is is a uh, just a standard 60. Nothing fancy about it. Smooth stock. Um, I don't know. They came out with certain features on this gun, like this bolt hold open mechanism that has a release down here. Okay, so it holds open after the last shot and has a release down here on the trigger guard. That innovation came along about 20 years ago. So this gun is something like maybe a 1998-99 manufactured gun because it's got quite a bit of age wear on it. So I'm saying it was probably, you know, 22, 23, 24 years old. But we're going to look at it a little bit, and then we're going to shoot it, and then we're going to see how it shoots for its age. Now, it has the steel front sight assembly, which is held on with a gun screw. It has the steel uh, magazine tube mounting fixture. Uh, the older ones, a lot of them had it up here around the sight. It has quite a bit of handling wear and so forth on it. Uh, it has a trigger guard screw missing here, but it's on there good, so we ain't going to worry about it. This stock does not have the Marlin bullseye in the wood, but the gun <laughs> itself is marked Marlin Firearms Company, New Haven, Connecticut, USA, Model 60, micro groove barrel, 22 long rifle only. I think what's happened here is the original stock for this gun got damaged. And the owner, somewhere down the line, picked up the Glenfield stock and put on it. Because it does not have a place for Marlin's bullseye that all the Marlin rifles have. Generally, a lot of times that bullseye gets pulled out and they mount a Uncle Mike sling swivel there. Uh, it does not say Marlin on the stock, you know, on the butt plate. And Marlin's say Marlin on the butt plate and Glenfield's don't. So it's a Glenfield style stock in a Marlin rifle in it. There is some rust starting to show on the barrel. There is some wear up here on top of it. There's some wear back here. There's a screw missing from it, a big blemish in the stock right there. Um, marks and dings and dangs all over it. Oh, it's got dammits all over it. And the side elevator has been replaced with a sliver of wood, a toothpick elevator. Uh, that sounds like a rock band, toothpick elevator. <laughs> okay, let's load her up and see what, uh, see what she actually shoots like. I think these guys hold uh, 15. 
At one time, the three best-selling 22 rifles on the market in America were the Ruger 1022 was king, the Remington Speedmaster was next, and then the Marlin Model 60. When the Marlin Model 60 came out, it was a real innovation. The 60 came out in 1960, and they made it all the way up until about two years ago. Uh, the 60 is very copied. Uh, Mossberg manufactured a version of the 60, and then later a company called uh, Braztec down in South America manufactured a copy of the of the 60. And they all work pretty good, really. Uh, the 60 in itself has always been a 15-shot tube-fed magazine, but they manufactured versions of the 60 in a 16-inch barrel 10-shot tube version, a 16-inch barrel magazine-fed version, mm -hmm. and uh, and they were always pretty good. They are pretty good guns. This particular gun, well, not this particular gun, but this is the first semi-automatic, a model of this is the first semi-automatic firearm I ever owned. I think I got it when I was like 14 or something. All right, we got her in there. Let's chunk her up. All right, put her on the old block and see how she shoot-a-tates at 15 yards. Let's see how much accuracy the modified rear sight will allow us. A little on the smoky side. Well, when I first got this gun test fired, it didn't work too good. So it was running slow. It was not picking up a round and so forth. And I deduced that it was just dirty. So I don't have the capability to clean it out in the field. So are you going to keep yawning? Go do your yawning someplace else, will you? Jeez. <laughs> I'm boring somebody. So I sprayed it full of WD-40, and now it's smoking like a 62 Biscayne. And the bolt holes open as design. Jeez. My old man used to have a 62 Chevrolet Biscayne. That thing got about, oh, I don't know, a quart to the mile. Let's go see how it shoots after all these years. <laughs> Acceptable. Hell yeah, I think she was pretty good. That's 15 shots and half of them was seems through the same raggedy bullet hole. That's, that's not too shabby. Shoots the, you know, you could pack around on them sights and get it all up in the red pretty easy. Replace that sliver of wood with an actual elevator, you know. Oh, the big burning question is, what's it worth? Well, It's a semi-automatic 22 rifle that works and shoots straight. So a guy looking at this on a gun show shelf or a gun store shelf doesn't know all of that. But uh, this guy's worth somewhere around, I don't know, $100, $125. You know, I'd take a chance on it for $125. You know, um, yeah, so it's got a lot of dings and dents and scuffs, and, you know, and a missing screw and, 
you know, a couple of missing parts. But when it comes right down to it, you take game with it. They kill a groundhog stone dead. You know, you could uh, be well equipped in squirrel season for 100 or 100 and a quarter. So, you know, it's uh, it's just another Marlin Model 60 that looks like hell and just happens to work right. Well, like, take, share, buy, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me a little dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to. And if you don't, well, I'll keep right on making content for you. Uh, uh, keep being careful during these dangerous times. The coof ain't on us as bad, but the goofs are still around, buddy. There's a lot of them out there, and they're just running wild. Uh, avoid problems, but be prepared for them. You know, love your neighbor. Be a good citizen. Keep a good head on your shoulders. Remember, we're the smart money in the room. We're the gun people. Okay, we got this. We got the cool head, and, you know, and we just sit and let it run out. God bless everybody, and God bless America. We'll see you when we see you. Bye now.